In this video, we are gonna talk about the biggest mistake you're making right now with your training plan. It's something we've both done. We don't do it anymore, so let's go find out what it is. We are Dan and Mike from, from Biceps and Banter. Banter. This is Five Minute Fitness, Fitness, where we try and cram in cram. as much training and nutrition advice into advice. five minutes five. as possible. Possible. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that. Go check out our other videos. See what we're like in you know real life. Training splits. Training splits. So how to set up your training. You sat there at home with your spreadsheet. You're trying to work out how to sort no your training out. That. So basically what people try and do is they try and get their training plan perfect. They think they can beat the system. They think that they are unique. That you know the, the current scientific principles just don't work with them. They want something a bit more, bit more magic. Yeah. You know, they're like, oh, I can fit all that volume in, I can do all that. It's usually more volume, the more yeah, there, it's it? usually like, how can I fit in more sets and more reps? Should be doing more. Science has actually shows us that the amount of sets you actually need to do to grow isn't as many as you think. No, you're, no. you're probably doing enough sets. Yeah. In fact, you're probably doing too many. Most people splits when they come to us for coaching, usually it's sort of um, maybe like push, pull legs, or maybe chest, shoulders, delts. And what they kind of split their training up so much, and they're doing like three sets of 20, four sets of 15 on every single exercise, plus drop sets. And loads and of exercises though. Like yeah, six exercises on chest in a day. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Like split that over a week and you're probably gonna be in the right ballpark figure. Now, people, in my experience, from people that we see come to us, one-to-one -one clients, they train too much. But when I say they train too much, I mean it's misdirected yeah. and also they just think that the more volume, the yeah. better. So they'll do five or six days a week and I kind of say to them, does this fit with your life? Well, well, no, not really. Sometimes I can't get to the gym or I, have to, I feel like I'm spending two hours there a day. It's like, well, you don't have to do that. The majority of people actually end up doing less. They're, qu they're qu uh, quantity over quality. Yeah. You're doing, they're doing too much, but not doing it well. They're not yeah. training hard enough. If you train four or five times hard, you should be pretty beat up after those sessions. Like, yeah. you know, we should be looking at your recovery, uh, of course. But if you're able to do six, seven high volume sessions back to back, I would be questioning just how how well you're performing. You can't train to that intensity, no doing chance. that much volume on that many that many sets, that many reps. It's just not going to happen. I it do. might burn a bit, and it might be like, oh, I'm out of breath, and oh. Time I rested 60 seconds exactly, so it must be working because that's what the workout I, plan says. Honestly, I do four to five exercises on my legs, like four to five. And you'll see people are training legs for fucking ages and ages. Yeah. And honestly, I, I struggle getting up upstairs after because the, the session, yeah, <laughs> lazy. I'm too heavy, too fat. Yeah. <laughs> I struggle. Just struggle. Just lazy. Just lazy. But yeah, no, I struggle because of the, the effort put in. I'm, I'm resting for a good yeah. three or four minutes in between because I'm, I'm shifting good amounts of load. And then isolation, yeah, short and short and I go a little bit more higher volume on those, but still the, the, the intensity there is, is there. Like I can't be then going on to lunges and eight, nine exercises on my legs. The caveat to this is that the IFBB Pro that you bought your training plan from, guess yeah. what? Up to his eyeballs on drugs. Yeah. So he can recover and he can, can do all that sort of stuff yeah. and he can do body part splits and he will grow. If you're a natural, unfortunately, you're gonna have to think about your programming and probably train each muscle group two to three times a week for it yeah. to grow efficiently over time so that you can recover, you can lift heavier, loads and you can train well. You don't need to really be training more than five times a week because again, like Mike said, that will suggest that if you don't need that many rest days, you're probably not training mm. hard enough. Yeah. There's an element to it where you should need that rest and recovery because that's actually when you grow. You don't actually grow in the gym. You need that stimulus, but you then need to recover from that. The research says that you that volume and hypertrophy goes upwards correlative. So the more volume you do, hyper, muscle gain goes up, right? To a point. But when you get past a certain point of volume, muscle gain actually reduces. So that's not just us saying that. That's been researched. That's a, that's proven. But the sweet spot would be from anywhere between 10 to 20 sets per body part per week. Like if you're pushing the intensity of those lifts and you're trying to hit PBs, you're trying to get stronger each session on those lifts, you're going to put on muscle over that time. Like mm. that's what the science has shown. Yeah. You don't need to be doing Kai Green's training plan and all that sort of shit. It doesn't matter. The last thing I want to raise on this, rest times. Make sure you rest long enough between sets. Do not sit there counting a minute in between each set going into the next exercise exercise and trying to push as heavy weight as possible. Morons. You need more time to recover. Take as long as you need. There's no magic number. It doesn't burn more. It doesn't help you grow no. more. What helps you grow more is lifting more weight. If you need to take three minutes, five minutes, take it. Lift more weight over time. That's how you get stronger. So guys, reduce your volume, increase the intensity of your lifting. And I promise, give that a go. So you will see your performance in the gym increase. Whereas awesome. at the minute you might be stagnant because you're not recovering. Yes, you might get a burn. Yes, you might get a pump, but that is very, very different to make making progress in the gym. Your legs will burn if you run a marathon. You're not gonna get big quads. No. Your dick will burn if you shag a fucking dirty lady. So, I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to hit subscribe, give us a like, comment below with any topics you wanna see us cover. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed that one, and we'll see you next time.